Okay, we will solve this one. Insert 3 arithmetic mean between 3 and 23. Okay, hanapin natin yung tatlong arithmetic mean. So, ito yung first term, si 3. Okay. Then, hanapin natin yung tatlong arithmetic mean. So, ito yung 23. Okay. So, yung given natin dito, yung given, a sub 1, si 3 yung first term. A sub 1, that is 3. Okay, tapos A sub 5. Kasi pang fifth term. Si 23. Tapos yung N natin is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Of course, hanapin natin yung common difference. Okay. So, we will use this formula A sub N equals A sub 1 plus the quantity of N minus 1 times D. Okay. So, substitute natin yan. So, A sub 5. Okay. Yan ang A sub N natin, di ba? So, kunin natin yung first term na A sub 1. 3. Plus, yung formula natin na quantity, tapos yung N na 5, minus 1, times D. Okay, so ano nga pala yung A sub 5, that is 23. Sulat natin dyan, 23. So, 3 plus 5 minus 1, that is 4 na lang, times D. Okay, so ngayon, i-transpose natin yan si 4D, doon tayo sa left side. So magiging negative 4D. Okay. Equals C3. Hindi yan ang transpose. C23. Matranspose yan. Magiging negative 23. So, negative 4D. Okay. Equals negative 20. Okay. We will divide both sides by negative 4. Pwede pa. Ito na lang. Negative 4D. Divide natin na by negative 4 equals negative 20 divided by negative 4. So, therefore, yung common difference is 5. Okay, ngayon, si first term natin is 3, di ba? So, yung second term natin is, dagdagan natin ng 5 yan, so magiging 8. Si 8, dagdagan natin ng 5, magiging 13. Si 13, dagdagan natin ng 5, magiging 18. So, 18, magiging, dagdagan ng 5, magiging 23. So, therefore, yung arithmetic mean yung 3 arithmetic mean na hinahanap natin ay 8 13 and 18 so this is your final 